Hi, welcome to Storytime at New Orleans Public Library. I'm Carmen and I am excited to share some books, songs, and rhymes with you today. Today we are going to spotlight one of my favorite illustrators, Christian Robinson. Do you know what an illustrator does? They make the pictures that go in books. Christian Robinson has illustrated lots of books and won lots of awards. And sometimes he writes them too, and then he is both the author and the illustrator. So let's get started. We're going to sing our welcome song, and you can help me out. It's called Hello by Ella Jenkins, and it goes like this. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. We're just gonna take a second to look at Christian Robinson's studio. A studio is where an artist does their work. Christian Robinson's studio is very bright and light and airy with pops of color, a lot like his artwork. And he's uh, made a nice big workspace for himself. It's very organized and he has everything he needs to do his job close at hand. His paints, his paper, his glue. Another cool thing about Christian Robinson is that you can take art classes from him for free. Ask your grown-up to Google Making Space with Christian Robinson for a dozen short, fun art classes on his YouTube channel. Our first book today is about what it is like to wait for your birthday. It is written by Julie Fogliano and illustrated by Christian Robinson. When's my birthday? Everybody has a birthday. Oh, when's my birthday? Where's my birthday? How many days until my birthday? Will my birthday be on Tuesday? Will my birthday be tomorrow? Will my birthday be in winter? Will my birthday be in spring? Will my birthday have some singing? Will we sing so happy, happy? Will we dance around and round? Will we jump and jump and jump? When's my birthday? Where's my birthday? How many days until my birthday? Well, I'd like a pony for my birthday and a necklace for my birthday. I'd like a chicken for my birthday. I'd like a ball to bounce and bounce. I'd like a big cake on my birthday with lots of chocolate on my birthday and lots of candles on my birthday. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd like some wishes on my birthday. I'd like some kisses on my birthday. I'd like some berries on my birthday and tiny sandwiches with soup. And you're invited to my birthday, and she's invited to my birthday, and he's invited to my birthday, and you, and you, and you, and you. And you can wear your fancy dresses, or you can wear your fuzzy slippers, or you can wear a hat with feathers, or a helmet and a cape. If it ever is my birthday, will it never be my birthday? Is it almost happy birthday, happy, happy day to me? When's my birthday? Where's my birthday? How many days until my birthday? In the morning, it's my birthday. I'm not sleeping till my birthday. I'm just waiting for my birthday. I'm just yawning till my birthday. I'm just dreaming of my birthday. <sighs> Happy snore and snore to me. Shh. 
It's the daytime. Here's my birthday. Happy, happy. Hee, hee, hee. Time for cakey. Wakey, wakey. Happy, happy day to me. It's finally here. Here's the party. What day is your birthday? What month is your birthday? What do you wish for on your birthday? And how old will you be? The end. We're gonna do a rhyme called 10 Little Candles. Hold up all your fingers. We're gonna pretend that they are candles on a cake and we're gonna blow them out two by two. So let's practice that. Give a big breath and put one finger down. We blew it out. Ready? Let's try again. Got it? Oh, 10 little candles on a chocolate cake. And now we have Seven, eight. Eight little candles on candlesticks. And now we've got six. Six little candles, not one more. And now we have four. Four little candles, yes it's true. And now we have two. Two little candles, we're almost done. And now there are none. Shall we try one more time? Put up all 10 fingers again. Here we go. 10 little candles on a chocolate cake. And now we have eight. Eight little candles on candlesticks. And now we have six. Six little candles, not one more. And now we have four. Four little candles, yes it's true. And now we have two. Two little candles, we're almost done. And now we have none. All done. The next book we're going to read has no words in it. You read the story by looking at the pictures. Anyone can read this book. And this is Another by Christian Robinson, read to you with permission from Simon & Schuster. I love this book because every time I read it, I find something new. And it's really fun to try to figure out what is happening because it's pretty mysterious. Another. Shh, somebody is sleeping. What is this strange light coming through this circle over here? It's woken up the cat, but the little girl is still fast asleep. Hmm, there's another cat. We know it's not a mirror. This cat has a blue collar and this one has a red collar. What is that cat doing? He has jumped through and he's picked up the red mouse that belongs to Red Cat. And so the blue cat has taken off and Red Cat is chasing after him. And all of this has woken up the little girl. And she has gone to investigate. She's going to figure out what happened. So she peeks through this mysterious hole, and what does she find? Hmm. A different world, oh my goodness. Hello? She peeks through in time to see her cat disappear through another strange portal. But thinking quickly, she grabs the blanket off her bed and turns it into a way to get down into this other world. She chases after her cat and runs through this mysterious portal. And what does she find? Hmm, she finds her cat who is still chasing Blue Cat and they are going down, down, down the stairs to another one of these strange portals. And they all go through. 
and it's a magical ball slide. And she is chasing after her cat, who is still chasing after Blue Cat. Now, where will this lead? Was your guess a conveyor belt? Then you were right. They are now on a very strange conveyor belt going round and round. Blue Cat has continued to go round, but Red Cat and the little girl hop through the hole and find themselves in a land full of children playing all kinds of games together. Where are we? And there's Red Cat, and there's another mysterious portal, and when they walk through that one, they find even more children and even more portals. Where did all these kids come from? Where are they going? Where is that cat going? He's still walking. He's still looking for his mouse. And so she follows after him. And what do they find? Hmm. Why, this girl and cat look very, very similar, but they're walking up there and we're walking down here. Are they the same? Not quite. There's red cat and blue cat. And if you look at the girl's shirts, you'll see one has a red Saturn and one has a blue Saturn. And the beads in their hair are just slightly different colors. They are not the same person. Hello, hello. Now. Oh, did my kitty take this from you? Here, catch. And she does. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I wonder, will they ever see each other again? Will they come back and visit? They go through another one of these mysterious portals, and where will they go now? They find themselves right back in her bedroom, safe and sound, and Red Kitty has his toy back. Good night. Good night, little girl. Good night, Black Kitty. And she's fast asleep. But what is down here? It's a little blue toy mouse. How did that get there? I wonder. And that's Another by Christian Robinson. Research has found that when adults give children the opportunity to be an active participant in the reading experience, that they can learn even more than when an adult reads a book straight through. Wordless picture books are an excellent opportunity to let your child take the lead. Follow their interests through the pictures. Ask lots of open-ended why and what and how questions. With younger children, this might be mostly finding and naming objects, but with older preschoolers and grade schoolers, questions like, I wonder what is happening here, can be a good way to get the conversation flowing. Listen to their answers and follow up with more questions. Keep it fun and keep the conversation flowing. Kids who hear lots of language, learn lots of language. In the book Another, we saw a black cat. In this rhyme, we're going to see some very colorful kittens. It goes like this. Six little kittens found a box of paint, so they jumped right in. Oh, their mother will faint. The first little kitten came out all red. I'll be orange, the next kitten said. The third little kitten turned bright yellow. Green for me, said the fourth little fellow. The fifth little kitten said, my favorite is blue. Purple for me, said the sixth with a mew. So dancing home all in a row to show their mom a kitten rainbow. Well, friends, that is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed today's stories. Let us go ahead and sing goodbye. It is time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh yes, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye. Nod your head, wink your eye. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. 
goodbye. See you soon. You can check out more books by Christian Robinson um, in ebook by visiting our e-resources page and checking those out on Hoopla and Overdrive. Remember, you can find all of our virtual programming and digital resources at nolalibrary.org.